Hello everybody. Welcome to Mads Cook House where I share easy to cook recipes. Today I'll be sharing a version of the ever popular nanzas, the spicy paneer nanza bites. To begin, prepare the dough in a large bowl, mix together half cup whole wheat flour, half cup all purpose flour, half teaspoon salt or to taste, two teaspoons ginger garlic paste, two tablespoons curd, one teaspoon vegetable oil, half teaspoon baking powder and half teaspoon baking soda. Mix well. Knead it into a soft dough using water. Cover and leave it aside to rest for at least half an hour. In the meantime, prepare the topping. Heat a tablespoon of vegetable oil in a pan. Add in one medium onion finely chopped and saute for a few minutes. Add in two to three finely chopped green chilies and saute until the onions are translucent. Add in two teaspoons ginger garlic paste and cook for a minute or two. Now add in two finely chopped tomatoes. Add in a teaspoon of salt. This helps the tomatoes cook faster. Saute until the tomatoes are cooked. Add in a teaspoon of tomato puree and one teaspoon tomato sauce. Mix well. Now add in the dry masalas. Half teaspoon Kashmiri red chilli powder, 1 teaspoon cumin powder jeera and 1 teaspoon coriander powder dhania. Mix. When the oil begins to appear on the sides, add in a teaspoon of vinegar. Finally, add in a tablespoon of finely chopped capsicum, 100 grams paneer cut into small pieces and a tablespoon of chopped coriander leaves. Mix until the paneer is well coated. Cook for a minute or two. Check the salt and add more if required. Remove to a bowl and keep aside. Once the dough is well rested, divide it into two equal portions. Roll out the dough into 3 mm thickness. Using a cookie cutter, cut into round bite sized pieces. Heat a tawa or a griddle, grease it lightly with oil so that the bread does not stick. Do not use too much oil. On medium heat, place the pieces on the tawa. Sprinkle some water, avoiding the pieces and immediately cover with a lid. 
reduce the heat to a minimum and cook for a minute or two until the bread pieces are well risen. Turn them over. Sprinkle some water again and cover with a lid. Cook for a minute or two. Remove and keep aside. To assemble the nanza bites, arrange the bread pieces. Generously spread the topping and top it with mozzarella cheese. Return the pieces to the tawa. Cover with a lid and cook on medium to low heat until the cheese melts. The spicy paneer nanza bites are ready to serve. Enjoy them plain or with a dip of your choice. For more such recipes, follow me at Mads Cook House and be sure to like, share and subscribe.